Rock Computer College. Define quality training in information technology. When working with a lot of data in Excel, it can be difficult and time consuming to locate specific information. Now you can easily search your workbook using the find feature, which also allows you to modify content using the replace feature. To find content, so this is the process to go about to find content. From the home tab, click find and select command, then select find. Now this find and replace dialog box will appear. Now enter the context you want to, the content you want to find from here. So in my example, I'll type in syrup, then click find next. And it will show you the first appearance of that word. If you click find all, it will show you all the appearances of that word. Then once you're done, click close to close the find and replace dialog box. Now you can also access the find command by pressing control F. As you can see, it will pop up. The find and replace dialog box will pop up. So let's close that. Now, at times you may discover that you've repeatedly made a mistake throughout your workbook, such as misspelling someone's name, or that you need to change or exchange a particular word or phrase for another. Now, you can use the Excel's find and replace feature to make quick revisions. So, so again, from the home tab, click the find and select command, then select replace, and the find and replace dialog box will appear. Type the text you want to find in the find what field. So I type syrup. Then type the text you want to replace it with in the replace with field. So over here, I replace it with maybe juice. Then once you're done, um, click find next. Now, if the content is found, the cell containing the content will be selected. So you can see this has been selected. So review the text to make sure you want to replace it and then click on replace. And as you can see, it has been replaced. I've replaced the word syrup with juice. You can also select replace all and it will replace all the instances of that word in your document. So if I click replace all again, all the instances will be done and it will show you all done. We made five replacements, click OK. And that's how you replace a word in Excel. So once you're done, click close and the dialog box will be closed. Now it's best to avoid using replace all because it doesn't give you the option of skipping anything you don't want to change. You should only use this option if you're absolutely sure it won't replace anything that you didn't intend to it too.